Uh, my name is Lieutenant Corey Copley. I work for the uh, Pineville Police Department Criminal Investigations Division. Uh, Pineville Police received a shooting call tonight at the Pines Apartments off of Lancaster Highway in Pineville. Um, we are on the scene of a homicide right now. We are not looking for anyone at the moment. We do believe our suspects. Um, we do have in custody at the moment. He has injuries as well. But at the moment, it doesn't appear that the injuries to the suspect are life-threatening. Um, but we do have a deceased uh, male here on scene. I don't have his identity at the moment. Um, and of course, we have not notified the next of kin either. Um, but we're gonna be out here probably all night tonight with this crime scene and uh, getting to the bottom of everything. We have a lot of witnesses out here and a lot of things to conduct. So again, at the moment, we do have a homicide that we're investigating and the uh, suspect of that homicide, we believe at this time is in our custody, but does have non-life threatening injury. Um, at the moment, we believe the homicide victim and the suspect are acquaintances. So it's not an entirely random act. We don't believe at this time. But again, this is still very early in the investigation. So, so can you go into how you guys received the 911 call? What the, a little bit about what, sure. what exchanged between it? This is an early time of night. This is a nice night. The weather's really nice. A lot of people are out and about. They heard gunshots. A lot of people saw what happened. Immediately called 911. And then we responded for a gunshot wound victim. And then we arrived on scene, found the, uh, the deceased, and we worked from there. We have witnesses that said they saw what happened. But I can't get into details at the moment exactly what they saw. The, the two are, are what we believe right now are acquaintances. They're not strangers to each other, um, but they're not friends either. So this doesn't appear to be at the time a random act of violence. Um, approximate age, I'd say uh, early 20s, maybe even a late teen. Uh, male subject, he was shot in the front, in the chest area, that we could tell. There may be more, there may not be, but at the moment, uh, that's what we have. So if there was no exchange of gunfire between the two, and you're not looking for a third party, who shot who? Who it, could be, it could be um, a possible self-inflicted accidental wound before the shooting from the suspect. That's what we're looking at. So the suspect may have accidentally, may have. May have accidentally may have shot accident, himself, yeah. and right. then may have shot the victim? We're confident that he, did, that he may have shot the uh, victim as well, but as far as the, the injuries to the suspect may be self-inflicted on accident. You guys have a time that the 911 call came in? That's approximately 7.30 tonight. We're very confident at this time, like I said, that we do have a suspect in our custody that we're going to be interviewing once he gets the medical care that uh, to treat his wounds. How are we guys able to, to find him? him? Yeah. Sorry. How are we able to locate the suspect? Was he just he um, surrendered he showed, up at, he showed up at an area hospital. It is it is a very rare occurrence for Pineville to have a homicide. Um, but, so, but we're going to put our best foot forward like we do with any investigation utilize the resources we have at hand and, and investigate this and get to the bottom of it. When's the last time has that? Gosh, it's probably been a few years, two or three years. I've been with Pineville Police 18 years and we've only had a handful that I've been with.